Okay, hello everyone. For this video, I want to give you a quick overview of the GRE calculator. That is the calculator that you will be using when you take the GRE. You cannot bring a calculator, you can't use your own. You are only given this interface that, that, uh, that you see on the, on the screen right now. In the description, you'll see a link to this web version of the GRE calculator. So you can use it when you're practicing on your own uh, for, for your prep preparation for the exam. I would suggest doing that and using this calculator simply because it does not allow you to use a lot of the fancy aspects of your own calculator that you, you may have. So like you, for with this calculator, you don't have exponents. You don't have the option to flip back and forth between a fraction and a decimal answer. And this, this calculator actually, um, it even gives you an error screen if the answer is too long, if it's longer than eight digits, which is also different from a regular calculator. And it's really important to know that because let's say, for example, you have a question that asks something like, what is 86, what is 86,600,000? times, we'll say 12, uh, 1200, we get an error screen. What do we do? Well, the, the easiest thing to do would be to move the decimals of one of the two things you're multiplying by so that it gets smaller and smaller. So instead of saying 86,600,000, and writing out the zeros after. We just say 86.6, .6, and we know in our head that is in millions. So 86 million, oh, let's, 86 million point six times then 1200. Our final answer is 103,920 millions which is 103,920,000,000. So that's the way you get around this error screen. Uh, the other thing I wanna say is this button here on the bottom is very useful. If for example, at the end of a problem, you have a, you know, you have a complicated answer like this and the, uh, the question actually asks you to type in what the what the answer is. You can press this button, obviously not on this website, you, it doesn't work, but in the exam, you press this button, transfer display, and it actually moves the answer directly to uh, the answer uh, for uh, the problem that you're working on at that moment. One important point though is, very important point is oftentimes, on these type of questions, they know that you may want to press this button because it's a long answer, but somewhere in the question, it says round, round to the hundreds, hundreds uh, uh, unit or the tenths unit, so, or digit. So be very careful about that. If you transfer the whole thing over, you will be wrong if you didn't round to the, the place that they, they asked you to. So that's all I have to say about the GRE calculator. You'll see the, the link in the chat. And if you like my tutoring, uh, you can find my YSANT uh, uh, profile in the chat, or sorry, not in the chat, in the description as well. So uh, yeah, good to talk to you all. I'll see you later.